Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to be building an OU team around Choice Specs of Volcanion and the Raincore of Pelipper plus Mega Swampert. Then I'll be hopping on the ladder to test out the team, make improvements if I do feel it is necessary, and the final team can be found down below in the description if you do wish to try it out yourself. Let's go ahead and look at the Raincore that I have built, then we will build the second half of the team. I don't think the second half will take very long, so I'm going to try to go into as much detail right here regarding this as much as I can. We have Timid Volcanion right here, mainly because I want to be able to outspeed Timid Magearna before the shift gear because if it does shift gear up, Adam Mega Swampert doesn't even outspeed that under rain, and it could be a very big late game threat. So I really need the Timid nature right here, just so I can outrun it with at least one of these two right here. Pelipper is just a spit F set for the rain core right here. We do have Damp Rock to maximize rain turns. U turn momentum is great. Now we don't have Defog on here, which you may question due to the fact that Volcanion is obviously weak to Stealth Rocks. However, I do think we can add another Defogger later, whether it be Tapu Koko or Tornadus T. And I do think her. Hurricane is a very great coverage against Pokemon like Tapu Bulu and Breloom right here, despite the fact that we hit them both super effectively. Spidef Bulu is still definitely a very annoying Pokemon. And then finally we have Sub 3 Attacks, Adamant Mega Swampert right here. I want this thing to break as much as I can, so I'm not running Stealth Rocks or Super Power with a Jolly Nature. I'm running Adamant right here with Substitute. So the idea is, a lot of Fair Thorns don't even run Power Up these days, so you can sub up on that, eat up Gyro Balls, eat up Leech Seeds, and just smack them with Earthquake. And that can really help out Volcanion and Pelipper, as well as the rest of the team right here. So. Regarding what I want to add, like I mentioned, I do need a Defogger. The two big ones on Rain are Tapu Koko, Tornadus. Defog Scarf Cartana is a thing right here too, but I really don't want to add on that weakness right here just because, I mean, we do have good fire resistances, I really don't feel the need to do that. I think Tornadus is a very ob obvious option right here just because Volcanion is weak to ground. Despite the fact that Pelipper is obviously immune, this doesn't have Defog, so I want a ground immunity and a Defogger in one Pokemon right here. And I'm actually going to make this taunt mainly because there's some fat cores that can make this matchup very annoying. Mainly like Lychee, Celesteela, you can taunt it before it does that and gets out of hand. Let's go ahead and obviously run Hurricane because, you know, it's 100% accurate under the rain. We can run U-Turn, and then obviously Defog right here. So, really just one good attack right here, Hurricane, but it's very spammable in a lot of matchups. Really not all too worried about it. I'll make this a Rocky Helmet mod because I want it to be my Kartana check as well. So let's go ahead and run Rocky Helmet on here. And obviously due to Regenerator, I don't really need the odd HP stat. We can just run Max right here, and then I'll just go ahead and run Plus here, minus an attack, and that's really great. So, a few things, no Dark Resist, I don't even know if I want to add one later. Coco would provide one of those, but I already have the Defogger, Coco would kind of overlap. Let's see what else I can add right here. I do need Stealth Rocks, so the big Stealth Rockers are I believe Fair Thorn on Rain. I don't really think there's actually another one that people run on Rain. I guess Mega Swampert would usually run rocks, but I don't have it on here, so Ferrothorn seems no drawback. Like I said, I don't think the actual building part of this video is going to take very long because there's really not that many options when it comes to rain in OU regarding the not rain core. Volcanion's really the heat mon right here, no pun intended. Let's go ahead and run. So I could steal the idea from Mency Rain and run like double hazards. That's actually great with sub Mega Swampert. Double hazards plus sub perts are really nice. I think I will. I don't really see the need to run Leech Seed right here when I'm trying to get my Rain Core to do as much work anyway. Let's go ahead and run Spike Stealth Rex right here. And then, I mean, Mency Rain actually runs Aya Papa Berry, which could be great because what it actually allows you to do is switch in to Kieran Black's ICMZ, live the hit, and then you get your Aya Papa Berry back and suddenly your Kieran Black counters, so... I think I will do that because the Kieran Black is such a big nuisance to rain anyway. I think it is very worth it right here. Hmm. I'll run... I believe in order to guarantee live the ICMZ I would need 56. So I'll go ahead and run 204 here. 56 here. And then obviously we're going to run dual stab coverage. Zero EVs and speed right here for the gyro ball. Then power whip of course. So I like the rain core already right here. And then we, of course we have our hazard game done. Defog, Tornadus T, plus Rock Spikes, Ferrothorn right here. I think Subpert plus Hazard Stacking is going to be a very big part of this team right here. We have one slot left. Now, what can be a cool Z-move user? Heatran? No way. I already have a Rocker. We already have... Well, there's no point turning Heatran on rain, right? Its attacks are going to be weakened. What other cool ideas are there? Magirna could be cool. Magnezone is also an option. I mean, the team doesn't really care about steals. Like, we break through Solosteela with these two, and we have Taunt Torn just to help out with that as well. Not really too worried about it. I think maybe Shift Gear or Trick Room Z Magirna could be great. I don't want to add a third random user. Like, I'm tempted to run, like, Waterium Z Keldeo. But I think these two should be enough regarding that. I think Shift Gear Magirna is, just makes the most sense right here. Just because it kind of covers the weaknesses that Rain struggles with. Like, Rain can go ahead and break through stuff like Heatran and Ferrothorn, wear it down for Magirna late game. So let's go to run Ferrium Z right here. I might make it Steel Aim later, depending on how much of a nuisance 
I'm going to go steal the Unhallowed Dead, actually. I guess a bit of Bulu, but even these two can maybe break them. Tornadus helps out, so I think Fairy M is what I'm just going to stick with. Learn Shift Gear, Flur Cannon, and now it coverage. I mean, we can deal with Lander's T. I actually think this investment should allow me to outspeed Lander's T every time, so... I'll learn Thunderbolt, and then I'll learn Focus Blast. I don't think I need Ice Beam right here. And then we'll just run Max Max Timid, and that looks good to me. I might change the investments on this if I find that a specific calc is necessary, but for now, this looks good. And I like the look of the team. We have Double Fairy and Psychic Resist right here. We have Defog, we have Spikes Rock Stacking, and then the Rain Core, of course. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get right into the games. Well, Alright, I found a game right here. My opponent is very weak to my Rain Core. Their only resist being Rotom. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Pelipper against Lander's T. Now, this Pelipper can take a Fly Name Z, but Rockium is another story. Don't think I want to stay in on that, so I'll instead go here into my fire thorn potentially on rocks as they do just throw those up that's perfectly fine with me what i want to do right here is just get up my own they opt to just go right for the u-turn which is totally cool glade could come in that's definitely a threat glade does opt to come in right here so close combat could be annoying i think i keep this guy and go tornadus just because it doesn't have helmet but that could make make me weak to maybe Cartana. so i'll do it anyway as they decide to go right for the close combat that's perfectly fine i'll just go right here for the u-turn as Magirna comes in? Okay, that's cool. I think it's time. We have Timid on here. To bring my guy in, and I'm clicking Spec Steam Eruption right now. And I want to scout for their, their Assault Vest or not. This is getting blown away. This is not taking two of these. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, Aya Papa is unfortunately going to allow it to live two of them, so... I gotta switch out right here. I could just stay in, actually. I don't think it's in my best interest yet. I think I will. Just weaken it for Spurt. That's probably fine. As they do Volt Switch out, but look at Swampert and look at their team now. It's kind of funny how much of that's going to have fun. Yeah, Adamant Mega Swampert's going to have a ton of fun now. Just because I was able to go ahead and weaken the Rotom right there. So, while Volcanion was really good right here, I definitely think that Swampert's just really opened up right now. So, let's see, I could maybe spam Hurricane with Tornadus now too. I do wish I had Knock Off or the Vest on the Magirna, but hey, I guess that's okay. They're going to bring in their Glade right here. Hmm. What do I want to do about this? I'll go for Steam Eruption again, as they simply go for Knockoff to knock me out. That's perfectly cool. I'll just go right here into my Swampert now. Mega Evolve and just hit him up with a sub, I think, right here on the Rotom Sack. There we go. We're in. And let's see what exactly they want to respond to me with now. Glade is going to get blown away. Cartana has to come in here and take this hit, I think. Yep, there's the Cartana. I'll simply go for Earthquake as they Leaf Blade to break it. Pretty understandable. I think what I want to do is go out here into my Tornadus T. I don't think it's worth risking. I mean, Pelipper could come in. They go. They do go Lander's T, okay. Do I go Pelipper here? I don't think I do. I'll do it. As they go for the Supersonic Sky Strike, I'll get this guy in now. And what I think I want to do here is simply go right for the... Waterfall? Hmm, if I was Jolly, I would just win the game, huh? I'm able to knock that guy out. Cool. Kurtana is going to come back in right here. I'm going to go Ferrothorn. And I think I can win the game with Shift Gear Magirna in the end. Hmm. It's definitely Vest Magirna. Ferrothorn comes in here. My play is simply to get up a spike, I believe. To ensure this thing dies on entry. Okay, out comes Magirna. I think I will go for the Gyro Ball. As they flirt cannon trying to catch my guy, it's not happening. I'll go Swampert now, though, because there's no reason not to. I click a Waterfall and don't care. Yeah, so they try to Volt Switch out. I just click Waterfall twice here and get some kills. I think I'm going to kill two Mons, so they sack off the cart. I, I assume they're going to sack off the Gallade next. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Spike stacking plus this guy is so broken. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hmm. They're going to give me the Lele, okay. That's going to go down. Just look at the terrain up, I guess. That makes sense. Hmm. I'll sack this guy off. Just Earthquake here. As they Zen Headbutt. That's fine. I think what I want to do now is go... Like, I could go Magirna and shift gear up. I don't know if it's my best play just yet. Hmm. I think Tornadus is smarter. But then I'm relying on Hurricane hitting, huh? Let's do it anyway. Hurricane here. Come on, Tornadus hit. There we go. Nice. And I do think that Magirna will go down to my final attack right here. So let's see what's up. Magirna can come in if it wants to. We've already seen that it's a Salt Vest, right? So I have no reason not to taunt it. 
I have no reason to taunt it, sorry. I'll just hurricane as they will switch. I guess I'll hurricane again, like why not? <laughs> they do hit themselves. I'm hitting every hurricane too, but at this point the game was over with my own Miguna. It would always 1v1, so. There's another hit itself, I'll just hurricane here, and this will be a win, no matter what. I got into my Miguna here, go right for the, the Thunderbolt. Doesn't even kill, because AV Miguna is broken. <laughs> And uh, that's going to be that, so I'll drop a GG and be right back. Well, Lord, I found another game right here. This guy's got a ton of random Pokemon. It's kind of funny. This one should be straightforward. I'm going to try to end it as fast as I can, actually. Let's lead off with Golem right here. Go right for the U-turn. They could be faster than me. That's a bad play. Uh, does this have Damp? It does have Damp. Yeah, watch me go Damp on the Explosion. They go for Rax, okay? <laughs> um, that's fine. I'll Actually, I'm not going to Mega Evolve, I don't think. I'm going to Waterfall. In case they explode. And preserve my damp right here. I guess rocks. I don't have rocks. Whoops. <laughs> I'll just waterfall. Yeah. I'm going to call the explosion. Before there's... If they, if they stay in right here and don't explode, I'll we'll go for the mega after because their sturdy will be broken. Let's see. What do you do? They do explode. Okay. Now I'll go right for the waterfall and mega. Okay. That's, that's a thing. I forgot about that. But they went for earthquake. They didn't explode. <laughs> I did not actually- I forgot that was a thing, because I don't release- I mean, you never released a custom berry before it was released. I don't know how long ago, like, probably February, I want to say it was released, sometime around then. But yeah, they got me right there, they definitely got some good chip on this guy. Why does Cloyster win? That's what I'm trying to figure out, too. I think Ferrothorn can maybe take a hit from that. If, like, Magirna's gonna die. Everything dies besides, like, Ferrothorn, so... If I stack off Ferrothorn, I'm gonna lose to Cloyster. Just gotta keep that in mind. Let's see what they bring out here, though. Kind of curious because once I got my Vulcanian and they're they're not switching into my Vulcanian <laughs> this guy's got like three suicide leads too he's got the Binet the Aselgor like I don't know what to think about this team Aselgor comes in is it final gambit like what are you doing here I'm just gonna attack it I'm scared I don't want you getting up spikes for free too Yeah, there's a Toxic Spike. Okay, come down to that, please. Um, they do have an Unburdened Boost right here, so they can attack me if they want. They just use it to get up another Hazard, though, so I'm gonna have to Defog at some point. Cloyster could try to set up on me here. I'm under the assumption that Ferrothorn with my Fizz Def can take one hit, so I'm not going to go right for the Defog just yet. I'm going to continue staying in with my Pert. I can beat Azu because my Volcanion is immune to Jet, and... I do have HP Grass and all that, so... Well, let's see, this is where the match gets kind of scary, right? They have their hazards up, they've sacked two Pokemon, but... I have to make sure that I can abuse- I can beat these Pokemon right here. Banette is their next choice, so it could be Wisp. Prankster Wisp is a thing, it could also be Destiny Bond. I think I can try to D5 on this, I believe. I'm gonna try. They do go right for the Destiny Bond. I'm pretty sure this thing gets Taunt, but I'm gonna try the D5 anyway. It does get Taunt, okay. I can Hurricane here. Let's see what's up. Do you go right for the attack? Do you switch out? The decisions. I do a lot. They take some helmet. I don't really care if you have Shadow Sneak, in all honesty. Maybe I should keep this guy, but I don't see myself defogging at this point in the game. I'm gonna go Pelipper. On the next claw, okay. That's cool. What can I do here to abuse the situation? Why is this thing so fast, by the way? I didn't even realize that. This thing is insane. They debond again, okay, so they're definitely gonna taunt here. I'm gonna hurricane and knock it out. The thing is, I can't taunt them now, which is really terrible. Yeah, I was hoping to taunt whatever comes in after, but I guess in theory the Azumarill or the Victini would be Z-move users. It's probably Citrus Berry Azumarill and Z-Celebrate Victini, if I had to guess. My Pelipper can come back in again. Cloyster cannot set up on Tornadus. Despite my Noah's special attack investment, Hurricane is still gonna blow that thing away, so... That's a thing. They're gonna try it. Pretty sure this gets so code. It goes down to a sash, meaning I have to really hope that Ferrothorn takes it like I thought it does. There's the spear. Ferrothorn, do it for me, man. You take this, right? Hold on, if I get a Hazards, do I have any other way of revenging it? The answer is no. Yeah, Ferrothorn, you're good enough to take this, right? Come on. Ferrothorn, don't let me down. I can beat the other two really easily using Vulcanian and Swampert, but this is like the big thing right here. If you die to this, which you're probably not going to, I want to say, rolls, rolls, 
Oh, I pop a berry. <laughs> okay, well, that, that was cool. Um, this is going to come in here and probably Z thing, probably. Yeah, that. Let's go hard swampered on that. I guess I don't have to. I'm just going to gyro ball in case they... Okay, they final gambit. That's like the last thing I expected. I'll just go Magirna and Ferium. Yeah. Because if Ferium doesn't knock it out, then... Volcanion will. I do outspeed. Ferium should just kill it, but if it doesn't, then... I just go Volcanion after I'm out... I'm faster due to my speed. I can just Aqua Jet... Well, I can take the Aqua Jet due to my ability. And then we can just be good to go from there. This this, this just straight up kill right here. So, like I said, straightforward game. <laughs> if my Ferrothorn wasn't Aya Papa, that would have been worse. But I'll be right back. All right, I found another game right here. My opponents got Veil vale in 2019. <laughs> I was typing somewhere else, and then the A ended up getting put in here when I found the battle and hit enter right away. So, yeah, that was not meant to be right there. This guy does not beat Volcanion. Jeez. He also has a dub. He has, like, Web's Veil. Vale. It's very weird. I don't know what to think about it. I think what I'll do is lead off with... I want to say something that doesn't get stun sports, so nothing is the answer to that. Maybe just... I mean, I don't really care about Pelipper getting weathered or all that. They probably have Freeze Dry. I don't want to take a Freeze Dry with anything. I'll just lead Ferrothorn, I guess. It doesn't really care about either of these guys. I'll just, like, get a, a Gyro Ball, I guess. It doesn't really matter. This Conkeldur is going to be annoying, man. I, like, I don't switch into that, but I think they just they just lose to Shift Gear. Why? Quiver Dance into HP Fire, I'll live. You get up webs, or are you going to HP Fire me? HP Fire. Okay, so no webs. It was just a Quiver Dance mount. Okay. It's kind of cool. Uh, they kind of have to go Conkeldur. <laughs> but they do go Lola Tails. Okay. Well, I'll get up my rocks. I don't really... Like, I could knock you out in theory. Well, never mind. Nothing's happening. I do get my berry. Ooh. It's kind of nice. Get up these rocks, those Ferrothorn. That would be, you know, beautiful. There's the Veil. Come on, just wake up here. I know they're going hard Conkeldur. Just get the rocks up, Pharaoh. Come on, Ferrothorn. <laughs> you came through against the Cloister. Come through here. I guess Bisharp could come in too, but like Bisharp's not going to win. I'm pretty sure I can take the thing with multiple mons. So that's a play. I don't think... Okay, I do get my rocks up. I think I'm just going to gyro ball it in case it starts to Dragon Dance. Like, this thing's going to get out of hand soon. Yeah, there's that Dragon Dance. This is still going to hurt. Yeah, look at that. After the Dragon Dance, I'm just doing insane amounts. Fire Punch is there to kill... Hmm. I'll go Pelipper into Swampert, I think. Should I do that? Yeah, I'll do that. On oh, this stone. This thing is broken. Get this out of here. They did Mega, though, so... Now their weather is back, unfortunately. I don't like that. I'll go Pelipper again. I don't need to win the Weather War. That's what I'm trying to emphasize right here. All I actually need to do is make sure this doesn't win the game, so that way I can win with Magirna after. Because this guy gets fisted by Magirna, right? Ice Punch is fine. I, I just click U-turn, I think. Or even Scald is fine. I don't care about that. Like I said, all I actually want to do is make sure that Magirna is good to go later. So let's Earthquake here. The Lola Tails can get up the weather after. But I wasn't ever going to win this weather war anyway, is what I'm trying to say right here. So there's that. They could Hypnosis. I don't want them... Would they hit two? Nobody hits two. That's not a thing. If you had two, you're hacking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, you're... Okay, they just freeze dry right away. That's kind of interesting. I'll go Tornadus and, you know, try to hit a Hurricane. Because I have Taunt, right? I can prevent any setup, and then I just set up with Magiron on every Pokemon. That's nice. There's my hit. And then I, ju I just Taunt whatever, like, happens to come in. I hope it's Bisharp, but... Really, anything works. T-Tart is not getting a Dragon Dance, so get out of here. Yeah, that, that's not happening, my guy. I'll U-turn out here. I don't know if I want to, though. I think I have to, though, in case it's actually, like, a problematic Kartana set. So there's the Stone Edge. I'm gonna go out into my Magirna here. I should, in theory, I would speed. I don't think people are on Jolly. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, nobody runs Jolly Dragon Dance Tar. That's not a thing. Now it just depends on if they're banded Cartana, because my I just need to knock out the Bisharp, and then I think Tornadus can solo. Hmm. Okay, if they go Cartana, I think I have to... They go Bisharp, nice. This is what I want. Unless, do I shift gear here? I'm gonna do it. Because I don't know what they want to do to me. That's the problem, right? They just messed up. 
Sucker Punch is going to do no damage to me. Oh, never mind. That did some damage. Okay. Um, never mind. I, I may have been lying. Let's see. Kartana can come in. Never mind. It can't. But if there's Scarf Kartana with Smart Strike and they have Mach Punch on the Kunk Elder, I think they have this, unfortunately. Um, I have to Flare. So either that or I switch out, which I don't think I can afford to do at this point. Let's go for the Flare Cannon. As they do Mach Punch. Okay. What's your Kartana set? I'm gonna Calc Thunderbolt here too. Magirna. Will you shift here against Kartana? I'm assuming plus one won't kill. It doesn't look like it will. Based on that Flare Cannon damage, there's no way. Yeah, I do have to Flare Cannon. Are you Scarf? No, you're not. Okay, so we're able to go ahead and win. I thought it was unlikely to be Scarf on a potential webs team, so that's gonna be the game. I'll be right back. Alright, I found another game right here. This guy gets blown away by sub Adam and Perk right here. Now, Heracross does hit multiple times, meaning if I don't Oko that, I gotta be watch out for Bullet Seed, of course. That's something I can't get careless about. Let's go ahead and lead off with my Pelipper against Lander's T. As much as I want to keep my Ferrothorn around for the Magirna, I'm gonna go out into it right here on Derox. Just get mine up too as they proceed to Earthquake. That's fine. Then I'll go, I want to say Tornadus here, as they simply Earthquake again. And what I want to do now is simply go right for the Hurricane. Weaken that guy as they go for the U-turn. So I get some nice chip right there. I'll take it. Now Ferrothorn is weakened, so that's something I got to keep in mind too. If Toxapex comes in, I'm going right for the Taunt. Or I could U-turn right to Volcanion, but I want to prevent the T-Spec first. So let's go for Taunt and then U-turn to Volcanion. Well, I don't have U-turn, so I guess it would be a hard switch, right? They go Tornadus. Oh, I do have U-turn. Okay, I don't have Knockoff. That's the one. Hmm. I could use Magirna to break early. I'll just go for the U-turn as they go right for that. That's fine. I'll get this guy in. Honestly, I'm just going to sub. <laughs> On the Lando. Waterfall here to knock it out. I mean, Toxapex can come in. I'm not going to stay in on Heracross. <laughs> like, I, th that would be such a dumb play, considering I would just get knocked out by multiple pin missiles. Hmm. I'm just a little bit confused. I'm very confused. Never mind. I'm, I'm a little bit more than a little bit confused. Yeah, I'm not staying in on you. Let me get out of here. This is your Mega. That is ability. That's able to knock me out with a crit and four hits. I mean, obviously, it would, it would have knocked me out anyway, right? They get guaranteed five. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I've realized something. I don't deal with this mon. <laughs> okay, um, let's go out into my Magirna then to threaten it out. I think Shift Gear is probably an okay play, but I can also just Z here. Let's just Z. Yes, they stand for no reason. That's why I Z'd instead of Shift Gearing. Like, that's not a play, right? Like, even this doesn't allow my Mew to set up either, which is nice, because I just Flare Cannon through it. Toxapex will get blown away by a couple of Thunderbolts. They can haze me, but I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt into Wakanberry. But I full para, full para. That's kind of lame, but I think Purge just had the game anyway. That just knocks him out, and that should be that. The moment the Heracross went down, Pert plus Volcanion, I think, just won. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're Shift Gear Magirna 2 and can win here, but I don't think so. <laughs> I'm very confident that they're not. So yeah, that should be that right here. My opponent played this really interestingly. Like, they play made some good plays with the... I guess the Heracross mainly, because they were able to get it in on the minus one pert, but everything else is very confusing. Like, you could have pivoted into Pex on the minus one pert when I was behind a sub. My play right here is Shift Gear. Then Flare Cannon in this to knock it out. Yeah, now I'm plus one for the Magirna anyway. Magirna can't beat me. I just Thunderbolted a couple times. Does a little bit too much. I just Thunderbolt here too. I guess they're Assault Vest based off that damage, so... Eh, maybe not. That could be set up. So yeah, this should be a win right here. In fact, it, it definitely is. It's not a question of shit or not. I guess if they shift gear up and then, like, crit me, that would be like, like the one thing. Shift gear into crit. But that just knocks them out, and I'll be right back. Alright, I found another game right here. This guy's got no steam eruption switching and no mega swamper switching, so this one should be pretty straightforward. All I actually have to do is make sure that I'm able to get my rain abusers in outside of rain, and then I should be fine. Let's go ahead and lead off with Pelipper against Uxi, because everybody does this. I can just U-turn out into my Volcanion. I think they go for Trick Room first, which means I can just 
fire off a steam eruption under the rain. Should Oka Wuxi. Hmm. I'm keeping Ferrothorn healthy for the Magirna. A supper can help. How does this guy have another Mega Heracross? I'm trying to get my sub thing to do a lot of work here, if you don't mind. Uh, this should kill it. Yo, is Uxie broken? Uxie's not broken, right? It's not gonna live this. Specs under rain, there's no way, right? Yeah, okay, it's not that broken. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> okay, this is this is gonna get blown away as well. Like, two hits is gonna blow this away. Yep, easily. You can Moonlight stall me all you want, man. Never mind, uh, don't do it, actually. They Lunar Dance out. So that's two Trick Room Setters, right? I gone right now. Loops coming in here. Hair across, okay. So this is going for Rock Blast, I guess. I'll go Tornadus to sack off, I think. No, because Taunt Torn can actually do some stuff. Let's go Pert. On the CC, jeez. That was a bad play on my end. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible play on my end, huh? Actually, I guess in theory, if I can defog, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. Let's go to Tornadus here. As they Rock Blast, so never mind that. <laughs> uh, I think I win, though, with my Magirna. Or even just Volcanion can win. Let's go Ferrothorn here. Get up my rocks, I think. Okay. Now I can come back in here. Jeez, that didn't go well. <laughs> I've definitely had better experiences regarding how to deal with this stuff. Um, so Pert's death fodder. Damn, that was terrible. What did I just do? So Pert won outside of rain and I just threw it away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that play was, huh? They're gonna suck off their Marowak here to get in what Nido King. I guess Nido King's probably a trick room abuser too, so it's not gonna outspeed this guy. Yeah, so I'll actually have to do a switch out, come back in and flamethrower three times. Yeah, because I just sucked this off here. Now this is getting up trick room. What am I? What did I just do? I should have steamer optioned it. <laughs> I was about to cancel and do it, man. This is embarrassing. Okay, well, they're hitting to the left, so I might just rob this guy anyway. Hmm. Let us see. They reversed the trick room. You're not going to get it back up, man. Yeah. <laughs> And they're just going to go ahead and forfeit. So, um, don't throw your Mega Swampert against the No Water Resist team. That's not how you play Pokemon. I was trying to cancel against the Volcanion versus Magirna thing too. Because I realized this was Trick Room and I blinked for a second. I don't know what I was doing for half that game, but I'll be right back. Alright, I found another game right here. This guy's got the Tapu Bulu, which is kind of a troublesome Pokemon against my team. I'm going to try to actually play it smart this time, unlike the last game. I know, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and lead off here with Pelipper against the Clown. huh? Well, it could be Ghost Z, so I'm not staying in on you. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn here. I don't really need Ferrothorn in this game. It's my Grunt check, but offensively I just deal with the Grunt super well. Yeah, so they tried to Ghost Z my Pelipper, but like I wasn't gonna let that happen. Okay, that's that's a sub now, huh? We do this, huh? Okay, I'll go for a Steam Eruption. That's a 55%. I don't like that. They're gonna sub to stall out my rain turns. No, they're not gonna do it. They are doing it, okay. Well, if you don't let me keep the biggest threat to your team... Actually, it's not a biggest threat anymore. This guy's really doing this, huh? There's the KO. I'm gonna get in here if you don't mind. I'm just gonna click a nice waterfall. Don't paralyze me with the Zapdos, thank you. I think I win with my with my Magirna. Broken Magirna is gonna win this game. They really tried that. Hmm. Well, I'll go I'll go Ferrothorn here. The Volt Switch. Greninja comes in. I'll go Pelipper on that. I am spit F, so I can take, like, never mind, I don't take two of those. I, I was lying. Huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go Magirna. On the Lando. Okay, I'm getting out of here right now. <laughs> On the rocks. Let me defog these away, if you don't mind. That's a toxic. Don't get those back up. And I think the game's over. Unless you discharge Parami, which you don't even go for. Okay. Mawal comes in. I mean, under rain, you're doing nothing to me. I'm doing a lot to you. <laughs> that's not going to kill me. Oh, uh, you can shuriken, I guess. Like, that's a thing. I don't know if you're going to... I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have a reason to stay in. I'll shuriken. 
As this shuriken, shuriken, all that, okay, that's fine. Ferrothorn can, like, take this pretty easily, but I don't want the, the Zapdos coming in for free, so I'll go Pelipper here. I gotta beat the Zapdos with my Pert, which is, like, kind of lame here. Bulu comes in, okay. We'll go Tornadus. On the Stone Edge, okay, that's a play. Are you Scarf? <laughs> don't be Scarf, okay, I'm fine. I get to sub up here. On the roost. Waterfall this guy a couple Well, Ice Punch this guy now. Do a, a freeze it. Okay, that was not part of the plan, but I'll take it. <laughs> that was 100% not part of the plan. I will Earthquake you. Knock you out. Swampert's the only thing that kills the Zapdos, so I gotta be careful. But, yeah. Man, that clown went in early game. I don't know why I let that happen. <laughs> Freaking clown. Such a broken mon. I'm joking. <laughs> Let's go for the the U-turn. So this guy can not hit an attack ever. It's kind of funny. Get out of there. I just sub on you. Like, you don't break it with anything. This waterfall here. That's like 900%. Can you... Okay, that's a crit and they flinch. <laughs> so that was a game. I don't know if I would have won without the hex, but it certainly put the nail in the coffin. I'll be right back. Alright, seventh game right here. Going to be up against Rubombi Webb's fun times. They have a Charizard and a Pinsir. I'm very confused, but I'm going to try to lead off with my Ferrothorn against the B. I don't know why they have both. Are they both Mega or something? Or, like, is this, like, Moxie Abuser on webs? That's my, that would be my guess. It's either that or this is, like, Belly Drum under webs. One of the two. Okay, that's not a very good lead for me, huh? Let's go, Pelipper. You're not Belly Drum. There's no way. Okay, there's Zard Y. Fortunately, I don't get my weather up. Hmm. Kind of sucks. When I say kinda sucks, I mean it more than kinda sucks. I'll go Tornadus here on the Solar Beam because I know that's what they're going for. I get the U-turn out now, which is nice. I just bring back Pelipper. You go for Solar Beam again. I click Flamethrower, okay. I'll roost up here. If you have HP Electric, you got me, man. But you don't have it. I don't believe you. You don't have it. That's You clicked Solar Beam before. That's a Focus Punch, huh? But I can roost this off and not really care. I guess I can U-turn out here, but I want to be as healthy as possible. You know, just so I can switch in twice to... Rocks or whatever. So I guess you're gonna go to Bombi, right? That would make sense. Focus Punch is ROI. That is indeed a set. Ash Cadion Pallet Town. Very confused. Am I not reading this properly? Just. Cation de Pallet Town, okay. I guess that means like Ash is from Pallet Town? I don't know. It's like in a different language, I guess. That would be my guess. Hmm. So are you gonna stay in here or not? They don't, okay. So I get to roost up. I mean, they could have Stone Edge or whatever. I'm just gonna go Swampert. I go for frustration in regular form. What is what am I facing right now? I'm so confused. I'm gonna waterfall. I thought just, they just give me the pincer, okay. I mean, I guess it was Mega. It just was, they have two Megas on their team. <laughs> Superior comes in. I can go Ferrothorn because the rain is up and just get up his rocks and all that stuff. I'm not going to get up rocks though because eventually I'll be forced to defog anyway. Like, what's really the point? I guess it's good to break the Sash when that thing's coming in. Um, you just give me a stronger Gyro Ball, although I'm pretty sure it was, you know, just as strong anyway. Base power 129 to 150. Really, we're doing this. Am I getting full parried? I am not. Have a have a thing right there. This is likely just going for HP fire now. Could care less. Let's just take my Pokemon. Go Tornadus here. I'm gonna miss, but that's not the point. I'm gonna U-turn out instead. They're just gonna go ahead and forfeit. That was... I, I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, so we went from two Megas to Primate Baraquinid. I'm not really sure what's happening, but I'll lead off with Pelipper. This guy leads Zapdos. It could be Toxic, so like I don't want to stay in with this guy. I'll go Ferrothorn initially, just because it's not really that good here. It's kind of destroyed by everything. I guess, like, the one thing it wouldn't is, like, make a Deancey. Deancey, sorry, but, like, Pert and Magirna can just deal with Deancey, too. This guy also gets 6 0 by Magirna, but it requires me hitting a Focus Blast against a Drill. So I'm not going to go for that unless a Drill is gone. Unless I, of course, have to in the end game. So Raccoonid comes in here. Which is, like, fine, I guess. They can get up webs or whatever. I'll just, like, power up this for some damage. Yeah, I get, like, nice 38 off. It's kind of cool. Just power up again. Like, Zapdos coming in is the least of my concern. Yeah, now the paralysis is a little bit of a different story. I don't like that. 
But I do have the Eye of Papa Berry, which is kind of nice for longevity. It's probably going for like Heat Wave here, right? Do I just get in Pert now? Like I've been holding off on Pert. It's going for Heat Wave. Yeah, okay. Let me get this guy in. Sub up here. Oh, this thing's Helmet, man. I forgot. I can't stay in. Uh, okay, no, I have to defog. I have to defog. I'm going to do it against this too. <laughs> okay, Raccoonid comes back in. Do I Hurricane? I'm hurricaning. I already said I'm willing to defog on Zapdos. I don't care if it comes in. Yeah, and I don't want that. Really, I'm not getting my defog off because of that. Liquidate Oko is me, right? They go for Toxic. Okay, phew. Let's defog. I thought Liquidate would Oko me right there, but... I got my defog off, which is cool, I guess. I don't think they have the attack that I think they do, which is Liquidation. This gets blown away, by the way. Are you Scarf? I mean, if you're Scarf, I don't switch in anyway, so I'm just going to stay in here. Zapdos comes in. Always back to Ferrothorn, I think, just because it's expendable, like I said. They go for Roost, so I could have maybe gone for the... Yeah, they're trying to make me, they're trying to catch my choke into Pelipper. Wasn't really interested in doing that. What did this thing click again? Toxic. This guy's giving me no opening. He's making me he's forcing me to play it tediously, which is unfortunate. And I kind of have to. Okay, let's go Tornadus here. On the heat wave, okay. You turn out here. Into Swampert. On the discharge. Get in Pelipper here. I'm risking Pelipper. On the heat wave, okay. Go back to Pert on the Discharge, and now I can finally make something happen. I'm just going to sit in here and Waterfall this thing. I have to somehow break through it eventually. Have a Waterfall. I'm willing to sack this thing just to get this Helmet damage off, and then I'm going to kill everybody with Magirna. <sighs> I get to restall me. Come on. I mean, unless I'm still faster, which I'm definitely am, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it's a defense, Fizz Def thing, right? I get another kill, unless they, like, full para me. Okay, so they're trying Primeape. Primeape will outspeed me. But I just knock it out there. So yeah, Perp still picks up two kills right there. And we actually get to make something happen, which is kind of cool. It's getting kind of draggy, I'm not going to lie. I'm glad we managed to actually, you know, move things along here. Okay, this is the Clown. The Clown's actually an issue, huh? I'll go Hard Tornadus on the Clown. They just like Shadow Ball. It's probably Scarf, right? Yeah, I'm going to say you're Scarf. I don't have to assume that. I'm going to U-turn on the Diancy, okay. So I can go like Ferrothorn. It's either that or Magirna. I think Magirna is not a bad play, but like I said, the drill is still scary. If Magirna is my best way of winning now, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to Power Whip here. It'll knock this guy out and it gets the damage that I need on drill. This should still kill. Yeah, because even... like I know Mega Diancy, not Mega Evolved is pretty, pretty fat and all that, but... At this point, I'll just get my rain back up. I don't see the other th things doing that much work anymore. As they flamethrower. So I get a U-turn out. So they're not locked in. That's great to know. So I get to bring this in here and simply click. Hurricane. Go drill. They keep on going Araquanid. Uh, I don't like this. They go drill now. I feel like I should keep this because it's my one speed control for Blissef. Like... I don't want to get swept by late game that, so let's suck off my Pelipper here on the spin, which they failed to get due to my, my thingy. You have to get out spit and die. I feel like I have to go out and do this thing and just like power up it. If they spin, they're going to take a ton of damage. They have to Earthquake and hope I get full parried. Okay, I did miss. Um, that, that could be the game, maybe. Depends on how much my power up's actually doing. Oh, they choked, but I missed twice in a row, okay. Yeah, had I hit either of those, and then I hit this one right here, I would have won. Yeah, but now I think the game should be theirs, I think, maybe, I think so, probably. Let's go for power rip. Maybe not. Yeah, there's one of those. I gotta, like, go Tornadus and U-turn out, like, a million times, just to wear this down. That is eight. Okay, come here. Miss Rock Slide, okay. Yeah, there's one of those. You know what? I'm going for the two hurricane hits in a row because I couldn't get this hit off. I would have won had I obviously 
I've been a bit luckier. Actually, I can make this one hurricane hit. Actually, I might be able to do it without hitting hurricane at all. No, I have to hit one hurricane because I don't have knockoff. Oh, wait a minute. That sped the entire time, huh? Well, tornadoes, you gotta hit a hurricane. We already know this is not Scarf. Tornadus, come through. I lost to you. You lost me a draft league game earlier and to lose me this game as well. Okay, yeah, that's the game, unfortunately. So, I didn't have to sack my entire team, but I still would have had to hit the Hurricane. No, actually, I didn't. I would have I would have been able to U-turn out and beat it that way, I think. But uh, that's going to be the game right there, unfortunately. I think I choked. I didn't think that my Magirna would outspeed the drill. You know, it's 302. I'm 251, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm not ending it off on me choking away the easiest win ever. I'm gonna play this one and then we'll end it off. This guy's got double fire. I wouldn't be surprised if it is Zard X, but it's probably Zard Y, considering they have a Victini and all that. Let's go ahead and lead off with, like, I guess, like, Vulcanian's fine. It's either that or, like, Pelipper. So the guy leads Rotom. I go Ferrothorn. I never brisk Swampert right here. Hmm. Swampert rips this team apart, huh? I do need damage on this, though. They try to make my... They try to make my choke into Swampert work out for them. I'm gonna go for rocks here. Just because I feel like rocks are more valuable for me. Despite the fact that Vulcanian kills every Pokemon, I still think that, because Charizard also kills my entire team. Yeah, so there's the, the Chomper. We'll just Jarabal here. So they got up their rocks. They turned out to be Helmet, which is kind of bad for me. I'll just throw this out, man. They dragon tailed me, huh? Well, I'll go Tornadus here. Yeah, Tornadus is a fine play. I feel like they're Earthquaking. Yeah. I just get my Hurricane and I get to kill the Chomp. Nice, okay. I honestly thought Chomp might live that, but it died. The uh, Rotom comes in here. I once again U-turn to Pharaoh. Get some more chip on this thing. As they whisp me again. This guy's only playing off my chokes. I'm gonna get up a spike here. I mean, I know it's literally for Kartana. I'm aware. I guess Victini too. Kartana comes in. I've got Pelipper. The Rotom. Taunt here. No defog for you, my guy. They finally don't play off a choke and actually click the attack. I just go like Magirna here and win. Like, what do you bring in? Victini, any damage on anyway, so I'll take that. Zard is probably gonna like die to Flare Cannon. I wish I was Ghostium, that would be funny. They go Victini. This, I mean, if this lives, then uh, it'll just be good damage for Volcanion anyway. It's able to live that pretty easily. I'll go Pelipper here. Like, I know that Mon won the game, but I wasn't trying to win with it. Go Swampert here on the Thunderbolt. Honestly, I don't like... I like the idea of just subbing up, but I also don't want the Wero Tom coming in. They got into that guy, which is just gonna... I guess get sacked off in one hit. Okay. Uh, do I lose to... No, I beat the Kartana with my... With my Torn. I can just, like, sub here. On the Defog. The Defog's annoying, but, like... I got a Hydra to break my thing. I'm just going to 2-it KO you. Oh, you missed, but... You're also Barry. I forgot about that. You didn't show lefties, did you? Hmm. I'm going to go Volcanion. Ah, they made the play. Okay. Maybe Volcanion was a bad play, but I have a teeny weekend, don't I? So all I need to do is make sure that my Torn is healthy for Cart, and then get kills with Pert. So yeah, Tornadus can come in here. If you're Z, then you win, I think. But... I'm going to hope you're not. Okay, they go Rotom. I have to U-turn. Like, I can never let that that Pokemon in for free. Or I can Hurricane for damage, but I need this thing for the Kartana. So I'll suck this off here to the Volt Switch, okay? Mm, did I just choke away two games in a row? I don't think so. I think Swampert plus Torn might be able to do it anyway. Because I go Pelipper here. I go Swampert every time as they Thunderbolt again. I just click Waterfall. Knock out Victini. If Charizard comes in, I'm not worried. I have Tornadus for this. As a Leaf Blade. It's a Life Orb. Okay, that's good to know. I Hurricane here. It'll 2-it KRO, Tom. Yeah, I'm fine. I think I have one anyway. 
Depends on what the Zard is, though. Okay, so Zard comes in here. Carton, your life orb. Why did you? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll taunt. Dragon Dance is your one win con, and that's not happening. Dragon Claw. I come in here, Earthquake, and that'll be game. So we were able to go ahead and win the last one. I nearly choked this one too, but thankfully we came through. I don't want to die off on the choke, like I said, the eighth game. So we got the ninth game right here. I'm gonna be an eight and one live. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. No changes. It's definitely a good rain squad that I would recommend you hit up the ladder with, and I'll see you next time. Later.